Hello and welcome at Whiskey for You, your whiskey tasting room. Today we will try to gather a very special bottling from the Scottish house Dalmore. Dalmore has a long tradition of creating very special single malts. From the bulbous shaped stills, they create a full bodied and complex destillate, which after ripening in bourbon barrels, receive a very exclusive ripening in very special different barrels. For this purpose, also very special and unique barrels are selected, for example, from international wineries. So there is a very special cooperation existing with the Northern Portuguese winery W and J Grahams from Villanova de Gaia. The master distiller Richard Patterson from Delmore has already created various very exclusive bottles with the barrels of Grahams, each of which has its own very special characteristics. So let's see what we have brought for you today. Dalmore Portwood Reserve. A very nice package. Have a look at this. <laughs> for the complex flavors of the Portwood Reserve, only half of the barrels were selected to be ripened in these tawny port pipes from WNJ Grams. And we can already guess how intensely these barrels must dispense flavors to the destillate if they choose to ripen only half of the destillate into these barrels. Tawny port is a very soft and very complex port wine. It's very sweet and creamy and we are all curious to find out which flavors have developed here in this single malt. <sighs> Look at this wonderful bottle. <laughs> you cannot really throw it away when it's empty. Maybe you find another use for it. <laughs> it is decorated with a noble 12-pointed stag, which comes from the following story. The Dalmore heritage dates back in the year 1263. It was in this year that Colin of Kintail, chief of the Mackenzie clan, saved King Alexander III of the fury of a charging stag. And in recognition of this noble act, the king granted the Mackenzie clan the right to use the 12-pointed stag emblem of their coat of arms. And when the descendants of Mackenzie became owners of the Dalmore distillery, the royal stag became the recognizable icon that proudly adorns each of their bottles until today. See, today, if you want a nice logo, you need a lot of money and a good lawyer. And in that times, you just need to defend your king from a stag that I can tell you what is more easy. So, let's see what we have here. Mm. What a wonderful aroma. Wow, heavy, sweet red fruits, mm, plums maybe, which are certainly attributes of the port. And yes, now it's clear why they put only half of the production into these tawny port pipes, because it's absolutely enough to get a completely balanced aroma. Hmm, light citrus notes, but not like, not like a sour lemon, it's more like a sweet oranges. And there are further sweet tones like vanilla and toffee 
and all accompanied by the 46.5% of alcohol, which you can clearly feel in your nose. So I would say, Slanchiwa! <laughs> Mm. Wow, this whiskey will not disappoint you. No age on the bottle, but it's absolutely clear that this is not a young whiskey. A full, deep start, heavy sweetness, um, candy, cherries, combined with the fruitiness of tangerines, but of course, it's not really sweet. I mean, it's only aroma. Please don't misunderstand. Whiskey, of course, has no sugar sweetness or fruit sweetness like um, port or wine. It's um, all destillated. But still, we have here a very strong, sweet, fruity aroma, which develops perfectly on the basis of fine wooden notes. <laughs> Fine caramel notes remain on the tongue. Coffee, raisins. As a great completion of the evening after dessert or instead of dessert. <laughs> Wonderfully suitable. Dalmore Portwood Reserve. A strong, deep and intense single malt. Fruity, creamy, smoothy and incredible complex. Feel free to visit our shop if you want to get a bottle for your collection. And I'm looking forward to see you again at Whiskey For You, your whiskey tasting room. Thank you. <laughs>